Love to shop online like Bella here? Scrolling through pages of beautiful jewelry is always a great way to pass the time. Whoa! Check out that hefty price tag! I don't have that kind of money. Perhaps I can fashion something myself. Hey, what about those little dinosaur toys you have over there? Aw, look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? Oh yeah, I can definitely do something with this. Wanna know how to turn a kid's toy like this into fashionable jewelry? First, put a metal ring into the top of the figurine and screw it all the way in. Next, get some metallic spray paint. Now spray it all over the little dino. Once it's dry, string it onto your favorite long chain. Wow! Look how cute that necklace is! It looks just as stylish as the ones you see at the store, doesn't it? Yep, looking good, girl. It's morning time, which means we're cooking some eggs. And Justin loves his over easy. Ooh, don't forget to add a little salt for flavor. That ought to do it. Now I just need the right cooking utensil to flip this thing over. Whoa, how on earth do you ever find anything in here, Justin? With such a mess, you'll never get what you need in time. Aha! Will this cake cutter work? We can try, right? My eggs! Yikes. Those are a little overdone, don't you think? Now I have to start all over again. Hey, what's in the trash? I better put that down and see what's going on in there. Well, now I see why someone threw this away. But maybe I can make new use of it. Give an old binder new purpose with this clever hack. All you need is the metal three-ring strip. Using a hot glue gun, squeeze out the glue down the length of the back of the strip. Now snag it before the glue dries. Pick any cabinet door you like and stick it right onto the inside of it. Leave the three rings open so you can hang your cooking utensils on them, from spatulas to whisks and more! It sure feels good to think outside the box. Or rather, drawer, doesn't it? Nice finishing touch, Justin. Wait a minute. You think it's cold out today? I should be alright. I didn't know it'd be this windy! Gah! Here comes the drizzle! You know what? I'm going back in. That weather report was so wrong! I definitely need this thing. Okay, getting warmer already. Now that's more like it. Since when did the sun come out? I must look nuts in this thing. Yep, wearing a jacket. No big deal. Okay, that's it. I'm taking it off. It's like I just stepped out of a sauna. I'm sweating bullets. Why can't I get this stuff right? Wait a second. I know what to do! Tired of lugging around a jacket? Turn a cloth bag inside out and put hot glue on its back seam. Before it dries, stick that edge to the bottom of the jacket. Fold the bag down. See this velcro? Glue one side onto the inside of the jacket and the other onto the bag. They should meet just like this. Now just fold up your jacket. And roll the hood all the way down. Keep going till you hit the bag. Then pull it through so the bag completely envelops it. Now you can wear it like a backpack. Now I can keep my jacket with me and not have to wear it around like a fool. <sighs> that sun feels great! And when those dreaded clouds come in, you'll have nothing to fret about. Yep, it's jacket time, people! Just stick the bag to the jacket. That way it doesn't hang out. See? Lazy folks can be prepared, too. Well, 
only one more touchdown and we'll win this game! Come on! Yes! I knew we could do it! Whoa, Kevin. Aren't you getting a little too carried away there? Oops. Did I do that? Looks like it's time to clean that up, don't you think? Oh man, I actually shattered that thing, didn't I? My mom's gonna kill me. There's gotta be something I can do to salvage this thing. Whoa! Alright, Kevin. Let's think outside the box here. Have anything around the house you can use to fix the clock? Oh, Kevin's brain is definitely buzzing! For this hack, you'll need a record and some dominoes. Take the ticker from the clock that holds the battery and stick it to the hole in the middle of the record. If you turn it a couple times, it should fit right in quite nicely. Take a small washer like this and put it over the hole on the other side to secure the battery. Next, screw on a metal nut. Now place the second hand from the clock on top of it. Now do the same thing with the minute hand. And finish it off with the ticking hand. To make the clock's numbers, put some hot glue on the corresponding dominoes. See? A 12 domino will serve as 12 on the clock. Keep going until you go through all the rest of the numbers. Hang that sucker up on the wall and you've got yourself a brand new clock. So, how does it look, Kevin? Wow, it looks even better than the clock that was there before! Hey! Why are you just standing there? Check out my latest creation! Pretty awesome, don't you think? Ooh, nothing like a good hot shower to start the day. Uh-oh, looks like Sophia's getting a call. Oh no, how do I answer the phone from in here? It's Vicky! Probably calling to tell me about her hot date last night. Gah, my hand's too wet to click! Hello? And my phone's broken. Great. Next time you want to chat in the shower, try this hack. Put your phone face down over this piece of plastic and outline it with a marker, leaving some space around it. Now cut where you drew the lines. Now take an even bigger piece of plastic and glue down the rectangle you just cut onto it. Hot glue works best for this. Once the glue's on, turn it over and press down the edges. Be sure to leave the top of the rectangle unglued. Well, look at that! It's a little waterproof pocket for your phone. Heck, you could even stick your iPad in there for crying out loud. Now you can watch shows and chat with your buddies in the shower. Just make sure it's off-camera mode. You gotta love some entertainment. Yes! Vicky called me back! Okay, tell me about your date and start from the very beginning. 